I wake to Tiny Dragon. Go, Tiny Dragon. Amass a tiny horde and have tiny naps on. <laughs> I... This suddenly makes me question the uh, priorities of this tiny dragon. Okay. I'm not used to dragons. I wish they had a little bit more range, but I can un understand why. Part of it is they have insanely fast attack speeds. And since my mana region is actually getting pretty good as dragons, a uh, tiny half dragon. Just gonna mess things up. Normal dragons have better range. Oh! I actually didn't know that one. I guess it makes sense. Now, there's no loot in here, so this this whole room just kind of blows. But yeah, I was uh, I I guess I can spell it out loud, but uh, I had been using the I had been using the word midget to refer to uh, two people with dwarfism just in this game interchangeably. And I think that was actually one of the first uh, times I've ever... Eh, no, no, no. This has happened a couple of times. I, I used to use the word um, mongoloid because I thought it sounded funny, but apparently it's a really offensive term for people from Mongolia. And I actually had no idea. Just because, like, you know, I never, like, used it or in, heard it in a context of something offensive. I just... It sounded funny. Uh, and so for the, me, you know, the M word was very much a a whatever word that, you know, back in the 90s, everybody just used it interchangeably. And I I didn't know that, I guess, uh, I didn't know that, I guess, people had determined that it was actually not a cool word to use. And so I'm perfectly fine changing my, uh, my vocabulary. Uh, but this this happens every once in a while where I I actually do you know finally run across something that is not acceptable language and it takes me a little bit I mean for starters I recorded like ten episodes uh, using the words interchangeably and so I had people being like please stop using that word and I'm like I'm I would I would if I could I mean I guess I could have actually edited something for once in my life we've found dragon fire hmm. But, you know, I feel bad. Because I tr do try and keep everything inclusive and to find out that I was engaging in one heck of a faux pas makes me a bit sad. Because I don't want to be one of those people. East Rune. Get out of here. Whoops. Mongoloid idiocy is the term originally used to de describe Down Syndrome. Oh, that's horrifying. I don't know. It's like, I realize it's hard, and language has a lot of ins and outs. Like, uh, what is it? I think thumbs up is straight up like an offensive uh, gesture in certain countries. Uh, or, no, pointing with one finger is, I think, actually both. Uh, that pointing with one finger is, is considered offensive in uh, certain parts of the world. Uh, or rude. And so, uh, Disney, in their parks, uh, specifically mandate that all employees point with two fingers. And, uh, apparently it's actually a habit that sticks with you largely for the rest of your life. That was something I had never heard of before until actually fairly recently. I knew about the, uh, the pointing with one finger or two fingers, but I didn't really know why. It was just, yeah, that's what they do. Um... And so, just kind of another random thing of, like, actual cultural... Yeah, holding up two fingers is offensive in some places. Holding up as opposed to pointing? I don't really know. I I realize only so much you can do. Dang it. I'm really hoping I can get daggers or something as a replace, uh, replacement for my dragon fire. 
If we'll get lucky. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we're just going to go this way. Uh, let's recover a little bit. I should probably start pumping points into health. Oh, what? I didn't get him the first time around. Must have just avoided it. But yeah, I, I realize you can't avoid it, but it's always worth, like, changing your perspective if somebody asks you to. Uh, I don't know, every once in a while I run into people that are just, like, absolutely so set in their ways that, like, even if they are racist or horribly insensitive or something, that is the way they've been and that's the way they've always been. street goes like both ways i've seen some people that are absolutely just like i'm gonna say too vigilant on these things uh -oh. like i remember at the beginning of the whole gender pronoun thing there was somebody that like would get mad if you used any kind of gender pronoun that to use any at all was not okay and then eventually they chilled out on it and started going with the no you just have to figure out what a person's preferred pronouns are but there was a conversation, a somewhat heated conversation that we had once where it was just kind of like, look, I'm a guy. It's okay to just say he when referring to me. Like, I I, I don't... I'm not going to respond to... I think they were using, like, J or something like that. I got it. Like, I understood why they were using it, but it was, it was off-putting on my end because it felt like I was being mischaracterized in a way that, like, I didn't need to be. It felt like I was being pigeonholed into the wrong group, and that felt odd to me. Though, I have noticed that if I don't know the gender of somebody, I, I've specifically been using they if I can. Woo, okay. Because it's certainly a lot easier on my, my end to use they before I run into bleh, what their actual preferred pronoun is. Unless it's, like, just obvious. For some people, I think it's more obvious. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, this looks messy. This looks less messy. My dragon's doing alright. Stuck on that. Now, is there... No. Ow. Oh, I don't have the last of the lore? Really? I'm surprised. Journal entry 21. I have done it. I have defeated the dungeon master. All that remains is to enter the throne room. After this, the king will honor me and my valor and acknowledge me as the rightful successor to the throne, not my faceless siblings. And he's gone. Now. Doesn't look like there's anything useful in here. Well, I, I guess there's a gold, uh, not a gold chest, brown chest. Damn it. Ah, snap it. Ah. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're still very killable. But we're good. Okay. There we go. Doing fine. Just kind of messy. Statues. We don't really need the mana potions, like, ever. Okay. He's dead. I... If it weren't for my ex extremely pitiful HP values, I'd actually consider maybe... Ow. Ran into juice. If it weren't for my pitiful HP values, I'd consider going to the forest immediately. The dragon is very clearly, like, strongest... Strongest character I immediately have access to, maybe? I don't know, the wizard was pretty good. It's the mo mobility, and tiny dragon especially, 
as it. I guess the other thing I'm looking for here specifically is I need I need to get my hands on um Yep. I need to get my hands on a better spell. If I could replace my fireball with a dagger. Woo! Okay. Let's see. It's interesting. Going to the Barbarian, I was pretty chill. Now I'm actually, like, kind of focused on what I'm doing. Flying adds a whole new dimension to playing this game that I'm not used to. I think it's just because it's very... The... Maybe it's just the fact that uh, turning back and forth is throwing me off a little bit. I'd probably be more used to it if I was actually using, like, a twin stitch setup or something like that. Okay. He's gonna hang up here. Above him. I don't know if he will do that charge midair. Looks like he'll do that attack in midair, but that's okay. Hey! Woo, that was a big health up. And that's why I'm still in the castle. I feel I feel like a ham bone. Just doing the castle over and over and over again. But the castle is still proving to be fairly lucrative. And I feel like if I went to the forest on anybody else, eh, maybe I'd be okay. Maybe I should just get a bit bra braver. Uh, there's a lot of these guys here. Yep. Wow. This room is, uh, dense. bit more to come back. Grab that. And then, I guess, just wait for a bit. I always kind of wish, uh... I always kind of wish with the Dragon Knight you could actually press, like, Y or something to attack with your sword as a, uh, as a backup. Instead of just using fire. It does bother me that we don't have, like, any dwarf hallways or, or corridors. We had, like, one. But it was just a quick squeak through, and I was kind of hoping for something a little bit uh, more rewarding. But whatever. Uh, let's see. Ow. This is really interesting being chased by those ghosts because they're they're a little bit more dogged if you're flying. Okay. I don't know if I'd want to fight another one of those paintings, to be honest. Ow. I just walked right into that one. Alright, how am I doing HP-wise? Poorly. Do we have anybody up here or anything up here? No, looks pretty boring to me. Well, I'm just going to sit here and just mash the uh, X button. So all the barrels are dead. Ah. Okay. We're good. We're not out of mana. We're not dead yet. Shockingly. I was I was expecting this to go worse. What do we get? Karen's Opal. Hey, that one's actually amazing.
Come down here with me, Fire Man. Okay. So far, so safe. Let me wait. He is durable, but he is not unkillable. There we go. Is there... I'm clearly getting caught on some of the edges here, but I think this room is an absolute... dead end otherwise. Some HP and mana. We're not dead yet. What is with all these huge rooms? Damn! I mean, maybe it's because I'm currently, uh, currently playing a character with dwarfism. But, uh... It certainly feels like we're running into a lot of these, like, absolutely, stunningly massive rooms comparatively. Game knew you were playing dragons, so they wanted to give you room to spread your wings. And they knew I was a tiny dragon, so they gave me a lot of room to spread my wings. I'm back up to full health. Definitely need to work on my max HP, though. Very chest, take no damage. Should be easy. Alright, we get a grace rune. Sword... Be kind of nice if you could eventually get an upgrade that lets you stack extra runes. But that would probably be kind of OP. It would just be... I don't know. I like being OP, damn it. Just make it really expensive so it's hard, hard to grab. Seriously? More journals? Entry 22. I sit here making my final preparations. All that lays between me and the lord of this castle is the golden doors. There's a nervousness in my body that I cannot quell. Is this fear or fear excitement? All I know is that my journey is finally reaching an end. I have almost forgotten why I entered this castle in the first place. But I remember now. I have bested my siblings. I will save the king. Leave this castle a greater man than I entered. My family will get the honor they so rightfully deserve. Now, I enter the throne room. Overshot by a bit. Nothing else. Floating barrel? It's cursed! They're all cursed. I don't like it. Well, guess my HP's back. I guess I'll just wait here. You're good. Plenty of chicken to go around. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Got it. Big chest. Big armor. We're good. That health went quick. Yeah. Where the hell am I? Holy crap. This is uh, an expensive, expansive castle. No, seriously. Where am I? Oh, I'm there. Oh, I'm up. I'm near, I'm near the top. I thought I was down lower than I was. Well, that's okay. I apologize for getting us on this whole pronoun conversation. I guess I uh, sort of change. I'm sure maybe this has gotten... I, I actually haven't taken my eyes off this game as much as I probably should to reach at. Ow. Um, but on the topic of gender and gendered language, uh, not in terms of, like, referring to people as one gender or another, but I remember when I was a kid, uh, I learned that my dad... New German. At least some amount of it. It's not enough for conversational, but enough that he could go on business trips and, you know, not be, uh, not be incapable of communicating. Even if, you know, he'd have to supplement it with probably a, a dictionary guide or a translation app or something like that. 
Um, but you know, I I learned that he knew German, and I'm dead. Flew right into that one. Uh, well, that was pretty effective all the same. I was really, I really needed to invest in some HP though. Well, we could we could go for a Hukig. Or we could go for a massive lich. Let's go for a massive lich and then take our massive funds and just pump them into HP. We should probably get some better armor, but some extra starting HP would be a good idea. Um, anyway, I started learning German and American language does have some gendered terms, mostly like fireman. And jeez, policeman, I guess. But you can have like police woman. But there's only like a couple of those terms that are actually very specifically gendered, and most of the other ones, not so much so. Whereas like trying to learn German was very strange because they used a considerable amount of gendered terms as part of the language? I, th I think the whole language works that way. I, I don't know. It's been a while since I've even so much as touched it. But my 10th 10th grade, uh, 10 year old brain just straight up could not handle it. I just did not understand. And so yeah, now I realize it's a, it's a very common thing in Italian, German, French maybe? I don't know about French. Definitely Spanish, but uh, it it was one of those that, like, at the time, I was just so horribly confused uh, that I, I just never tried learning. Get out of here. Must fight this man with my big sword. In French and Spanish, every noun is gendered. But, like... You know, once, once I started properly learning Spanish a couple of years later, it wasn't so bad. Uh, because I understood. Also because my Spanish teachers were better teachers than my dad and a book. Because I was trying to learn via, like, a learn Ger German book. And I think if I, like, put my, my mind to it... Gosh, darn it. I'm just big man on campusing everything here. Woo! We gotta heal. Wow, that's not really worth it. But I'd rather have the fire. Not really. Big bouncing balls is real helpful. Let's see, there's a chest at the bottom, but I'm pretty sure my survivability... ...would take a hefty hit. Okay. I think that's confusing. You should see how men and women talk differently in Japanese. I mean, I'm I'm aware of it. Uh, and there's also like formal speech and a bunch of other things. There's a reason why I haven't like gone out of my way to try and learn Japanese, even though like it is the foreign language I have the most general exposure to, just due to the amount of anime and manga I've consumed over the years. It's just not worth it. <laughs> uh, I got that painting. Okay. Let's just go through here. Oh, that's some amount of money. And the extra HP definitely made a difference on this guy. I'm gonna have beefy liches. Did I get it? I got it. These spike balls are kind of incredible. Probably my favorite spell in the game. Like, the scythes are good. But the spike balls, you start around, you start a room. Drop the balls, and they kind of take care of everything else for you. 
I am trying my hardest to down attack that man, and it was not working. I think I'm just too big. Or I'm just losing my touch already. This is what, my third run? Take no damage. I'm just... I'm too big and beautiful to get through there. I just can't do it. Okay. So far, so good. I think it was just too big for that. It's okay. We got a stat up for it, so it was worth it. It was just... It hurt. Everything hurts. I guess now let's consume some HP. Ugh, that hurts. No fighting, you say. To that I say, fight everything. I thought it was don't take any damage, so I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Okay. So far, so good. It's got to work my way back. Beef Lich will make it work. It's just going to take some time. Ooh, mana. We actually need that. My big stonking balls. Very effective. Very expensive. Okay. Definitely worth learning how to down attack in this game, though. Damn. Ow, god damn it. Let me guess. You're also a cursed painting? You are. I will take any and all evolution points I can possibly grab. I got it. Not sure if that was... It was worth it. Also, thank you, Gemroth, for the 34-month resub. Damn! Damn! The idea that people are even uh, getting up to the, those numbers is wild to me, always. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do we have in here? The answer is suck and nothing. It's a bit of both. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna let my big bouncy balls handle problems. Uh, let's see. Do I? Yeah. Oh, I can't. Well, that sucks. I wanted that mana potion. I wanted it, and the game said, no, the spikes have it now. So if I went in here, I'd probably... I, I might actually be okay now. If I were to do... If I were to do that area. I still don't think it'd necessarily be worth it, but still. Let's see, get Voyage of Terror on the jukebox. Uh, if we go past it, sure. I'll try and remember. I mean, I guess the one thing we could do... I actually have the Rogue Legacy soundtrack. We could just uh, stop listening to the, the game music and, and listen to just the soundtrack on loop. Ow, that didn't quite work. Nope, all the way. Alright, there we go. We're safe. Everything is expensive. I guess that was worth it. The return trip, maybe not so much, though. No, it was worth it. We're good. Uh, 
Oh! It deleted my... It deleted my spike balls. I was really hoping I could, like, saturate the air with spike balls and then go into the dagger challenge and be all good. Oh, it even... It even uh, gave me mana just for that and then took it all away. I'm a little... I'm a little... I'm a little upset. Would have been kind of great if you could buy a full heal off of that guy. Clown is no one's fool. Should be. Dev's thought of anything, everything. I uh, press X to doubt. Uh, so I know with the axe one, you can actually you can actually cheese it by firing outside the uh, the arena. And that's actually quite effective. But you can't do it here. Alright. How the hell are I... Wow. This place is a bit of a labyrinth. I almost kind of wish uh, they had the teleportation system that a lot of more modern roguelikes have. Where you, uh, I know they have the teleporters, but it'd be nice if you could actually just manually teleport to certain rooms from anywhere as long as you've been there before and cleared everything out. Gungeon has that. Okay, so I actually gain e EVP off of these things. I don't n necessarily know if this is a good idea. I guess one thing I could do, instead of trying to catch it in a corner, I should hang out right here. There we go. Because, yeah, when these, when these balls break, I gain EVP, HP, and MP. I think. It's just going to take a while. But I've got perfect coverage and enough attack speed that I should be able to break some of these. It's just going to take a little bit. They're breaking fast enough to break. Fine, I guess I'll bully some of them into, into a corner. Is it based on speed, though? I thought it was just based on... How many times they they bounce? At this point, I'm here to do ball science. Yeah, it does look like they regen. Okay, I give up. That was not actually worth it. Because I, I know I've had them break before on their own terms. Oh. Well, I guess you would be the... You would actually be the, uh, expert. Also, Subzors, uh, welcome back. I didn't notice, uh, you dropped by at first. Unfortunately, it's very hard for me to read purple on a dark background. Uh, but still. So yeah, they have to take X amount of damage in a fixed amount of time. 
I, I don't know. I guess I was under the impression that they would just break after X amount of bounces. But that's false. Let's heal up a smidge more. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to be good at timing that one. All that one. Okay. So, I don't really want to go up. I want to go down and across. Ideally, what I'd like to do is actually get across to, um... I guess the forest? I've taken too much damage as a result of dumb science. Whoops. Ball, ball science is not... I'm not an expert in ball science, apparently. And this is... a problem. Well, at least I do a decent amount of damage. You were pretty focused on the tiny dragon when you got here. It, it's it's one of those where this is this is one of those games where I can talk about a topic for a while and run my mouth, but I cannot take my eyes off for a second, otherwise I take too much damage. Let's say I'm sure you understand, but you might actually have this down to a science. How long have you been uh, running Rogue Legacy out of curiosity? I assume for a while to justify having a, a mod made for it. like a good wiki page for a lot of these things. Because I know there's like kind of fan submitted stuff, but that seems to mostly be for like older YouTubers and internet celebrities. Because I'd love to see like a, a repository of minor inter internet uh, people of interest, I guess. And like their distinct history. Because I don't think I've ever seen that. Because it would actually be really nice like see a name go by. Uh, get raided by X person and be like, hey, who is this person? And actually be, be able to look it up apart from, like, I guess their own Twitch VODs. IMDB, but for nobodies. Okay. Getting up there so I can one-shot a lot of these things. But most of 2014, trying to beat it in one death, I started streaming and got into speedruns. Oh man, did you get it? I'm assuming at this point you absolutely you absolutely have the capacity to beat this game in one run. Holy shit, that must be tough though. I've done it in zero deaths. Damn. But then again, like I guess it makes sense. There's tons of people that do like no hit runs of Dark Souls. Uh, no death runs of Dark Souls. I think there was some crazy pants man that did, uh, what was it? Was it? No, no hits, no deaths, all three games? In, like, not one sitting. But it was close or something like that. Got the only zero death video on the net. Don't know if anyone else has done it. You probably will not actually have any competition up until, uh, Rogue, Rogue Legacy 2 comes out. At which point, then, people will probably pay attention. Actually, the other uh, immediate question would be, have you ever uh, attempted to get Rogue Legacy into a... Um, oh, shoot. Into, like, one of the GDQs. Because I try and watch as many of them as possible, but I don't think I've ever seen that one go by. I don't know. I don't have much, uh, much connection to the speedrunning community. I'd, I'd love to do it myself. I'm just too focused on, um... Let's see, another run runner did it about a year ago. Cool. I only know two speedrunners. Or no... Of? I've only ever spoken to two speedrunners. You and Badger, so I don't... I really do not have any connection to the community. It was a bit of a shame, because there's some neat people on that side. I'm just too much of a variety act to really, like, have it, uh... Hey, there we go.
Oh, that didn't work. There's a guy who's done Dark Souls Trilogy, no hits, soul level 1, in 8 hours and 50 minutes. I... oh, gosh. I can... I can see why people would get into this sort of thing. I would lose my mind. Whoops. Whoa, boy, hi. Freaking Barbados is. I don't mess around. Well, at least we get a big chest. Big chest has Retribution Sword. That's a decent amount of HP back. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely a filthy casual. I think the only claim to fame that I, I might have is just the sheer amount of breadth of games that I cover. Wow, that was some physics. Okay, so which is it? It's not Rogue Legacy, not Fish in the Whale, not Rotten Legacy, not Whale Shark. It's still Shrimp Grimp Outdoors. Voyage of Terror. That was it, right? Let's say I was early to the Forager party, though. Yeah, I was. I liked Forager, and I, I'm gonna absolutely say super hipster about Forager. That was one of those games that I really enjoyed but the collective fan base for it drove me away in a way that I don't think I've ever, like, really recovered from. Which sucks a bit. Just having a small legion of people show up and act like I've never played the game before uh, and try and teach me how to play just because they watched one, uh, one video from another YouTuber got really old, real fast. This is a good song. Fun on some of your challenge runs telling you to do the exact opposite of your challenge. It was... Like, I get it. It was just annoying. In a way that it was like... I think I have this problem uh, with the internet where no matter how hard I try and, like, share information and tell people, like, hey, here's the thing, there's always going to be the vast majority that just completely misses that. I love how the head is not actually part of my hitbox. Doesn't make any freaking sense. Get some HP back. Did you see Santa? Yes, you did. Uh, let's see. Keep going. This is really good. There we go. Let's see, five axes. I don't think I can get a better start than that. Missed it, even with cheating. 
It's okay. Whoops. Ow. Damn it! If you're holding Y while moving, you actually just keep moving. I gotta learn that, but it's really difficult to. Spell sword, spell sword, or a... Sure, ectomorph. Let's go with this. Uh, let's get let's get some new gear. Cause I'm sure there's some new good swords. So we could go for a sage's sword. Oof, but that is a heavy damage minus. Okay, so my current sword's okay. What about helmets? Extra armor. Yeah, the problem with the Sage's Helm is the extra money would be nice, but it would put me in the hole in terms of damage. and Because I, I haven't been specking into damage, so I'm kind of weak in that regard. Retribution Chest provides a lot of extra HP, but not a whole lot of armor. Plus, I do like the vampirism. I don't know, I actually know how much I care for the vampirism. It's good. I just... Uh. What else we got here? We do have the dragon limbs. Well, I guess first, first and foremost... Why don't we go for the Sky Cape? Let's see, last chest piece almost doubles your armor. This is a good point. Okay. So I need how much more? gonna add 45 more and I've only got space for 25 so I gotta do two more and then we can get the sky cape not actually sure if the sky cape is better but it'll free up some runes which I kind of need so we're currently maxed out yeah I can stay up there for a while all right so what are we looking at everything is just a bit too expensive dang I mean, I haven't been buying runes. 